The following program is appropriate for all ages and sensory friendly. Three, two, one. Studios of the Autism Channel in Palm Beach, this is the Autism Channel World News with Tracy Cooper. We begin with soft emotions and the hard science behind them. Researchers call it the love hormone, the cuddle hormone, or the bonding hormone. No matter the nickname, the hormone oxytocin is the chemical that underpins powerful emotional experiences like pair bonding, intimacy, and empathy. Although we all produce the hormone at specific times, it's long been believed that people with autism have deficiencies in oxytocin reception, perhaps due to gene deletion. Now, researchers believe that a dose of synthetic oxytocin could make a world of difference in the autistic brain, changing for the better the way people with autism experience social interaction. The Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences published a study from Yale University exploring oxytocin in children with autism ages 8 through 16. In this study, half the group received a nasal spray containing oxytocin, while half received a placebo nasal spray. After administering the spray, researchers asked the children to perform two mental tasks, one social, like identifying a person's mood from looking at his or her face, and one non-social, like sorting data. Brain activity was monitored with functional magnetic resonance imaging, or fMRI. When it came to processing social cues, the MRIs showed increased activity in key parts of the brain with the help of oxytocin, opening the door to potential new therapies involving the hormone. In clinical studies outside the realm of autism, supplemental doses of oxytocin have been shown to greatly increase trust, envy, and generosity. A 400-year-old church on London's famous Strand was the location of an unforgettable Christmas concert and the United Kingdom's National Autistic Society was the concert's beneficiary, to the tune of 10,000 pounds. Meet lawyer Tim Crosley of Wimbledon. In his spare time, he is also the conductor of the EC4 Music Group, a choir of 120 voices that came together as one to spread Christmas cheer throughout London and to raise necessary funds for autism support. EC4 held its Christmas carol concert at London's St. Clement Danes Church, the official church of the Royal Air Force. There, the sellout event raised 10,000 pounds for the National Autistic Society. That's over $16,300 in U.S. funds. This generous gift will go to the NAS's Employee Mentoring Scheme, a program designed to help lead Britons with autism into meaningful employment. Whether it's the gluten-free diet or a picky diet in general, autism and an interest in diet seem to go hand in hand. After all, it has been shown that autism spectrum disorders often coincide with gastrointestinal difficulties. Doctors have tried to address this issue in many ways, but now researchers at Caltech are exploring the role of gut flora in autism, beginning with the mouse model. The research builds upon prior studies that confirmed a connection between our bacterial colonies and behavior. However, this work is the first to hone in on autism. The research examines a special mouse model of autism which not only displays autistic traits, but also GI tract challenges, such as leaky gut syndrome. Probiotic therapy not only treated the leaky gut, but improved the behavior of the afflicted mice, increasing communication while reducing anxiety and repetitive behaviors. What does this mean for human beings? The Caltech researchers hope that their work clarifies the connections between the brain, the stomach, and the bacteria in manifesting what we know as autism. Finally, as we draw even nearer to Christmas, we at the Autism Channel World News are happy to see that more and more shopping malls throughout the United States are following the lead and offering sensory-friendly Santa visits. Going by names like Quiet Santa, Caring Santa, or Silent Santa, the phenomenon is spreading across the U.S., now with appearances in over 120 shopping centers and counting. Sunday marked a red-letter day for the man in the red suit, 
as he and his legions of special helpers attended to children with autism and their families from coast to coast. If you're afraid you missed your chance to visit a silent Santa with your family, don't hesitate to contact your local mall and inquire. That'll do it for the Autism Channel World News for December 10th. Roger Badish will bring you the rest of the week's autism news and views beginning tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Hi, my name's Lynette Louise, otherwise known as The Brain Broad. My show is Fix It in Five, and this is The Autism Channel.